Hello, this is Constadina Sadari, new host of Empowerment TV. And today I want to talk to you about fear. What's it all about? So here we go. When picking up this topic of fear, I realized that just saying or reading the actual word fear can trigger uncomfortable emotions within. It amazes me how much power and control this emotion holds within all living beings. I guess the reason is that fear has been associated as a precursor of harm or rather potential harm that we of course do not wish to experience. It is something that alarms us puts up our defense mechanisms and activates the fight or flight response. But with fear, it's usually the flight response. As per the dictionary, fear is a feeling of agitation and anxiety caused by the presence or imminence of danger. So actually fear is not a bad thing as we have developed this experience since time immemorial to defend ourselves from imminent danger. In other words, fear was developed to protect us, same as the experience of stress. Fear prompts us to be cautious, to pay attention, to be focused to think more about something before we take our next step of action. Fear can make us more aware and more careful and assist us to avoid things that can otherwise put us in difficulty or threat. So, as I said, fear is actually a good thing. Fear becomes a problem when it gains control over us and rules our emotions, our thoughts, and disturbs the balance of our bodies. It becomes a problem when it is exaggerated in our eyes, and this perception immobilizes us, takes our clarity away and common sense from our perspective. The reason we get a strong grip on fear is because of its original perception of being protected, that it is actually fear protecting us. Fear has been conceived to stop us from taking specific action. When there is a real danger, it works well for us like when we become afraid to walk to to walk barefoot in grounds that are known to have poisonous snakes because there is a real danger of being bitten to death however there are fears we all hold that do not have a lot to do with the reality but they are based on what our subconscious is perceiving as danger which then activates its defense mechanisms. These fears are based on past experiences we personally have had or we witnessed others having or someone has related them very graphically or emotionally to us, especially during our childhood. This is why we do not all have strong fears or as we call them unreasonable fears about the same things. Some are afraid of heights, some of water, some of airplanes and some of spiders. There are also fears that affect our progress and success like fear of failure, fear of public speaking, fear of letting our star shine. As I mentioned above, fear is a limiter. That's its job, to limit us, to block us. However, blocking us 
in a way that increases feelings of anxiety and frustration and does not let us achieve things that we have liked to achieve otherwise can be detrimental experience in our lives. If you want to find out what are those types of fears that do not allow you to move on and claim what is rightfully yours as a self-empowered being, spend a few minutes and observe what are those things in your life or in your thinking or belief system or in your memories that when you bring them up in your conscious mind, set off an alarm wave a red flag in front of you and give you the experience of being halted. Your conscious mind most likely will be able to tell you what is a realistic fear and what is not, as long as you don't let it start justifying those fears that then start to look real. When you discover your unreasonable fears and you feel that you are ready to break through them, you are then ready to find ways to eliminate them or effectively master them. Next time I will share with you some ways you can do that. This is Constantina Sadorinu. If you like this video please do give it a thumbs up and share it with your contacts. Leave your comments below. Till next time, be empowered. And if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Take care. Bye-bye for now.